today I've got for you this bit mess of zeotic pulse technology and what this can do it can take five pistons so here here uh, no here here piston and here piston facing downwards and maybe here one facing to the side um, Exactly. And when we flick the lever, and when it will merge them together into a piston with five heads, as you can see right here. So, we have one, two, three, four, and three extension piston, a fifth head. And let's just look at the piston in all its possible states. So here we have it in its normal state where it isn't extended yet. Um, then what we can also do is we can cut off this piston head so it looks basically like this and I will use this piston to cut off the head. And wait, we will here, I need space and then I see we take off ports here see this state again, but this is the fully extended piston with five heads, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. But we will see um, something even more beautiful than this, I just want to see all the possible states you can get with this. So when we do this, this, and when we need to put some random pistons around here, But I think that's enough. Hopefully it's enough. And flick. Yeah. And then we have a piston with only four heads, but it's still cool. So yeah, we have now a piston with four heads with a with a main head cut off of basically. Wonderful. And we can that's beautiful. Now um, look, now extend the head again. And the last thing we can now do is we can convert it into its glitchy piston state and then it will look like it has six sets and that's something I will now also do. And I hope I manage it because you need some very precise time to do that. So and I didn't use the tick weight mod to create the 5 way piston because everything happens in within one game tick, you really wouldn't see anything. But yeah, that's the right timing. And now the piston has 6 heads. Hooray! I will probably try to make a proper 6 head piston generator, but this is already pretty cool. This is already a very messed up piston and I'm very happy. Yeah, so much for it. Um, when we have, when I want to show you two other contraptions, because these two contraptions has very tiny but weird effects that you can't get with repeater and comparator stuff. Um, I've tried to make one of the effects with the repeater and comparators, but you need at least one zeotech repeater. And um, that is, um, what you probably know is if you give a short pulse to a sticky piston, or to be more exact, if you turn um, a sticky piston off, and there's a block 36 of some blocks two, front, two blocks in front of it, and that block 36 is moving in the same direction 
as the piston when it will drop the block and we can do this effect um, with a piston head because what you can do we can pull and extend the piston at the same time and oh I forgot one block one copying it and then we can activate another sticky piston to drop the piston head so um so we instantly destroy the piston head again and I find it kind of interesting that you can drop an a technically movable block if it's already moving. So this piston head is here instantly even though it should normally take two game ticks and it's there instantly because it's instantly dropped by this piston. And the other interesting effect I have is this contraption right here. In this contraption we only have one single piston facing upwards versus this one. And this piston facing upwards will transport these three blocks up at the same time. So um, the, the client will of course not manage that, but, what, but we can see all these three gold blocks have been transported up. And the way we do this is um, we have the piston first here, we extend him, then we, and after he's extended we push him over to here, then we extend him again, and then we push him over to here and extend him again, and with weird zero tick technology we can do all that one single game tick. Um, but this thing is a little bit location dependent because it's based on this effect which is kind of location dependent. But um, we're starting to understand location dependency a little bit. Um, um, again I am show you found out the exact update order of redstone and which is location dependent and so we're kind of starting to understand location dependency and be able to actually use it. But I'm happy that I've managed to do another step in weird piston technology and now we have piston with five, head, five heads and quasi six head piston. Yeah, and I don't know why it's, it's kind of weird. Um, anyway, that's all.